Hello and welcome to My Fusion Helper. This short video is going to be about how to use the Company Link Helper. And this is a great little tool that is very specific in its purpose and quite easy to use, but also very powerful. So the first thing I'm going to do is give you just a live overview of how to set up the helper inside of the app and then after that I'll show you a little bit of you know some of the strategies and situations when it works best so first before we dive into the app and how to set it up I want to just go over the scenario let's assume that for this purpose that we have a web form and on that web form we have the demographic information for the contact including the company name and then I'm going to show you how we're going to set this uh, company link helper up to facilitate that so if we go into the helper we're going to first just type in the name to pull up that company link and there we go and let's just uh, give it a name here company link demo okay and there really are no options <laughs> as you see there's really nothing for it to do the helper is simply going to look at the company record matching the name of their company and if it finds one it's going to create a link and if it doesn't it's going to add a new company and then create a link but either way it's going to link up the company uh, data inside of the contact into the company table all right so this is an automatic function it's super easy to use and super easy to set up so all we're going to do here is create the helper and then we're simply going to set it up in infusionsoft the same way that we set up any by copying the link and going into Infusionsoft here and adding this in. So if you're unfamiliar with how to do that, you would just come over here, go into the process, scroll to the bottom, grab a HTTP post snippet and drag it on to the canvas. And then we double click on it to configure and then paste in the URL here. And then set it to ready and you're all set. There is no options that you have to worry about or configuring, and all this is gonna do is it's gonna take a look at the company field that's in this contact, and it's gonna see is there a company record already existing for that field? And if there is, it's merely going to create a link between the two. And if there's not, then it's going to create a company record and link them. Okay. So what this gives you is an automated linking mechanism for companies, something that Infusionsoft really should offer, but they don't from the beginning. And so this is just a way of automating that. And the best practice for how to use this would be to uh, you know, trigger this um, creation of the contact through a web form as opposed to using the interface inside of Infusionsoft because that way you could automatically check for this and instantiate it if necessary, right? And that would give you a controlling mechanism to make sure that all of your companies get linked up properly when they're put in. Okay, so we talked a little bit about how to do it, and let's talk a little bit more about why and some examples. Now, the first example is, you know, really what I just talked about, automatically creating company links and doing that as part of your contact process so that when a contact is created, you route them through a web form that allows you to control this process and then automatically link up their companies as part of that, that system. So that would be the first example, and we kind of went through that in great detail. Let's talk about another example, and this is something that is probably even more prevalent. I've set up many different apps for clients that are new to Infusionsoft and they're uh, importing thousands and thousands of records and creating all the you know, data on the imports and all of that. And the problem is that after they set up the imports, there's no way to go through and do this company link up, right? It becomes a manual process in the interface or something that you have to go through a programmer to do all the API work for. So what I suggest is that for anyone that is doing a lot of importing work, that they use this instead. This helper will allow you to automate the process and you'll be able to go ahead and import the data and then you could run everybody through uh, a campaign that has this company link 
helper in it and go ahead and you know merge and create all the company records and clean that up so anyway that's something to think about those are a couple different use case scenarios and and probably the two most common ones and i hope that helps you out in your business today this is troy with my fusion solutions and that's a wrap